Okay, so welcome to the final video uh, for this level two NCEA chemistry uh, standard, the reduction in oxidation uh, internal. And today we're going to put it all together and summarize what you need to do to pass. So in terms of putting it all together, uh, you will have to identify for both the oxidation and reduction processes, which species uh, you started with, and also the re reaction, what product you end up with for both oxidation and reduction. You'll then have to write the half equation um, for each of the reduction and oxidation processes. Then you'll have to add those two equations together to make a balanced full equation. And finally, uh, you will state the oxidation and reduction of the species in terms of loss or gain of electrons. Remember, oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. In terms of excellence for the standard, you'll have to justify, therefore, your choice of the oxidant and reductant. Okay, so which species is being oxidized and which species is being reduced in terms of both the loss and gain or, or gain of electrons and the change in oxidation numbers. Okay, so for example, here we have a reaction between species X and species Y. So you'll state, for example, species X is an oxidant because it was reduced and gained electrons. Okay, because reduction is gain of electrons. And also, its oxidation has become more negative. And you kind of state that, saying it's gone from an oxidation number of zero, for example, to an oxidation of minus two. And then conversely, for the species Y, the other species that's involved in the redox reaction, uh, you'll state that it's a reductant because it has been oxidized. And the reason why it's been oxidized is because it's lost electrons. And again, oxidation is loss of electrons. And the, also, its oxidation number in this example has become more positive. It's gone from zero to plus two. Uh, in the internal, you'll be given a um, data sheet which has the color changes uh, for all the species. And also you'll be included some skeleton half equations which you can work from as a, a basis for developing your um, balanced full equations. Um, so essentially what you have to do is you must uh, match the oxidized form of the element with the reduced form in the element of the element um, in or, or polyatomic ion um, in the table using observations and conversely also the reduced form uh, into the oxidized form so it'll be two half equations and one of the little uh, problems could be hydrogen peroxide uh, because it's uh, got two half equations it can either be oxidized to oxygen or reduced down to water there's two ways to figure that out. Uh, the first one uh, could be to determine, well, I've worked out the other half equation is a reduction half equation, so therefore it's acting as an oxidant, or vice versa. Uh, also, if you see bubbles, then you'll know that is, that is the formation of colorless oxygen gas. So then you can work that out that way, okay? Because if it's a reduction equation, you'll need oxygen as a product when you're using hydrogen peroxide, so you see there's bubbles. If it's an oxidation half equation, then you'll need water. So finally, a few more hints uh, for the practice assessment. Whenever these ions appear, ignore them, sodium, potassium, or nitrate, because they're spectator ions, which we discussed previously. So you can just remove them from the half equations. Um, and say you've got a, species, a salt like um, iron sulfate, um, then it's the species iron 2 plus that is being oxidized or reduced, or iron 3 plus, not the entire species of iron 2 sulfate. So you've got to be careful that you're choosing the iron cation as your species and not the associated uh, spectator ion. It's not the whole thing that gets oxidized, it's only or reduced, it's this iron 2 plus or 3 plus species. Uh, and again, we looked at that in the last slide. If it's hydrogen peroxide, if you see bubbles, then it means it's going into oxygen. If no bubbles, then it's being turned into water. Uh, you need to have observations recorded, um, so you need to record what you see for each cation and anion. For example, a purple solution uh, when you're dealing with permanganate going to a colorless solution, uh, the manganese 2 plus cation. Um, or a colorless gas forms, in the case of hydrogen peroxide, that will be the formation of oxygen, for example. Or no changes seen at all when you've got colors, both colorless ions in solution. Be careful too 
in the sense that one color could kind of cover the other one. So if your two products are, say, a brown liquid or a brown solid uh, and a colorless ion, then that, obviously that brown uh, uh, solid will kind of uh, cover over the colorless ion formation. And always explain linking it to color. So for example, uh, mangan a permanganate is purple and manganese 2 plus is colorless. Okay, so making sure you also link your oxidation and reduction processes to a particular color change. And that's about it. So uh, good luck.